Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Red Rock Crawlers. As you may have guessed by the title of this video, we recently had the winter 4x4 jamboree down in Sand Hollow, Utah. So I put together a trail ride, and this was just uh, for our group, you know, for just those friends that wanted to come out and go wheeling. Double Sammy is the trail we did, and it's rated a seven, and it's difficult enough in the daylight, and we did it at night. I personally wasn't actually able to attend, which was a real bummer. Really sad I couldn't get there, but I had family in town. But my good friend, Tim, actually took over for me and it was a huge help. He actually uh, guided the trail and made sure everybody got off the trail safe. We only had one casualty and you'll see in the video. <laughs> Code for LED uh, hooked us up some shirts and some stickers so and a bunch of stuff to give away for this trail ride. A bunch of stickers to give away. We might have enough t-shirts for everyone here. Um, might not. But, uh, uh. Okay, well let's quit talking. Let's get to it. Friday night, about 5.30 p.m., we all gathered together at the uh, parking lot near the water tanks. Um, we got everybody aired down and we hit the trail. Just moved. <laughs> so as we're heading out, everybody turns on their lights. Uh, you know, this was a night run, so it's encouraged to, to put, turn on your rock lights or you know, other auxiliary lights you might have. We had an amazing turnout. We had uh, 27 uh, vehicles, I believe it was. We had everything from, you know, new JLs to that old original Willys. And we had everything in between whatever you can think of.
try not to blind the guy in front of us, but you still want to see what you're doing. And you want your spotter to be able to see what, what they're doing too. So those rock lights came in really handy for a lot of those people out there. Like I said, the trail is tricky enough to do in the daylight, but uh, we did it at night, and that just adds a whole nother level of difficulty to it. Uh, it's hard to see where the trail is sometimes. Obstacles look completely different in the dark, especially with the shadows and you know the way lights hit the obstacles. Things can look totally different, and it can really turn you around. Um, this is something that, that I actually quite enjoy doing. We do a night run just about every year at Easter Jeep Safari as well, and that is a huge hit. People love to go out there at night and, and run you know, these trails because uh, it just adds a whole other level of challenge to the, to the trail that you may know very well. Stay passenger. Looks good. Looks good. Stay passenger. Hard passenger. Sadly, the war hero would experience a fatal breakdown. Watch the body, Stan. Oh, hey, hey, you're, that's pretty good, though. My brake just went to the floor. Oh, serious? I wonder if you pulled the line. Oh, you, oh, you got a broken tire wheel there. Yep. Back and dragging that away. But I got zero brakes. I don't have a part brake or anything, so. With only three wheels attached to the vehicle, it'd be pretty hard to drive the rest of the way. So we, they decided to pull the Jeep over to the side of the trail, uh, get it out of the way so that the rest of the group could continue on. Unfortunately, we had to leave it there for the night. So as we near the end of this trail, there is a 
straight vertical wall, essentially, um, obstacle called the chute. And it is just a vertical wall, basically a, a very steep incline um, that a lot of guys like to, to try. It can get really slippery when it's wet. Uh, thankfully, the, the conditions were pretty much perfect. This obstacle is hard enough to do in the daylight to see where your line is, um, but these guys did it at night. <laughs> I got Where'd some. You? You see him? <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for watching everybody. That does it for this week. We really appreciate your support. So hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified of all new videos that come out. A huge shout out to Tim for guiding the trail, for spotting everybody, making sure everybody got through the trail safely. Uh, huge shout out again to Code4LED for, um, for helping us out on this event. And I wanna thank everybody who came out and uh, had fun with us on the trail. And hope you guys all enjoyed watching it. As always, we enjoy hitting the trails and making, making new friends, making new memories, and uh, hope to see you guys on the trail.